if you sit like this, you're going to be holding on constantly, especially if you have your bag. So you're going to want to just turn like this, and then you can just let go if you're sideways. And that sits right here. Mm -hmm. You need that. Thank you. Can we learn what how to see your bag? Nope. But right I here. do have my bag underneath. Okay. Do you have any laptops in your bag? No. Okay. Do you have everything out of your pocket? Yes. Do you have a belt on? No. Okay. Are you able to remove your shoes? Um, no. Okay. All right, then if you'll come right over here, we'll get someone to come pat you down. So if this bag needs to get looked through, then just let me know and I can come and help you look through it just because there's medical supplies and medication in this bag. Okay. All right, are you able to remove your shoes? I'm not. Okay, perfect. So I do have to give you a pat down today. Um, just out of curiosity, um, is anything sore sensitive to touch today? No. Uh, do you have anything else in your pocket today at all, sir? No. Any uh, medical devices needed to know about, internal or external? No. Okay. Um, how is your mobility in terms of being able to move side to side, lean forward and back? I can do that. Okay. Um, when it comes to being able to check the um, back pockets, you're able to kind of lean up just a little bit yeah. for me? Perfect. I'm going to start behind you on your collar. Um, when it comes to sensitive areas, so you use the back of my hands. Okay. Um, for the back pockets, what I'm going to do just have you lean to the side and I'm just going to use my back hands like so. Um, across the front, I go across and then down. Um, I'll check your inner thigh and we'll be able to get you on your way. Okay. Do you want private screening or is it right here okay, sir? This is fine. Okay. Sir. All right. Thank you for your patience. Have a good day. All right. Thanks. Uh, Hi. How are you today? Good. I'm checking in on this flight. And I will need a tag for the back of my chair. So let me tag this right here so it won't fall off. Here's your copy of your claim check, sir. That, that tag's for what? That tag is for making certain that your uh, wheelchair goes down at the end of the jetway, comes up in your connecting city in Detroit for your use, and then goes back down again to your final destination and then it comes back up. That makes certain that it's taken care of and put in the proper bin so that nothing uh, nothing happens to it. Thank you. Yep. So the thing that I, the biggest thing that I like to do when I get down to the bottom of the ramp before I get on the plane is to talk about my wheelchair and who about what is going to happen to it when it gets taken down. Yeah. So one of the big things is it's going to get taken down through a small door if it can be carried or through back up the ramp down an elevator if it needs if it's going to be um, if it's a heavy chair. So I always try to make sure and educate people that don't know about wheelchairs all about it so like my chairs I my chair I know has a hub it has a battery in here which is a dry cell battery so they ask um, if it's a lithium battery I would say no it's dry cell and it's on each side and this specifically um, is a power assist chair so there is sensors in this outer rim of the wheel so when that gets carried downstairs it'll be off and then when it's put on the plane, it just can't have anything leaning up against the sensors or be turned on its side at all. So it just has to be careful. And then um, the chair, it, this type of chair does not uh, fold up and it can be heavier than it looks at, for some people. So you just wanna be watch out and make sure that you have two people that are gonna carry it down so that they can get it safely in and be stored on the bottom of the plane. 
So you want to have that conversation up there at the gate, but you want to tell the gate agent that you need to have the conversation with the person who is going to be carrying the wheelchair down the stairs and actually loading it with the luggage onto the plane. So yeah. that's why I make sure yeah. that I say, yeah. I, you know, a lot of times I'm not sure what what you call them that are <laughs> down on the terminal, but I'm always say I want to talk to whoever is in the orange or yellow vest that's going to carry the wheelchair. To, I need to speak with somebody from the ramp. The ramp, yeah, right. Like so yeah, and usually yeah. I actually don't board or transfer until that person comes up, which it's probably a little type A. <laughs> best type of transfer, a lot of times people don't know what the best type of transfer is, so I'm gonna tell them what the best type of transfer is for me. So the best transfer for me is under the arms, under the knees, and just a full assist lift over okay. into right. there. Now I also wanna make sure I tell you that once you get me in this spot, not to let go of me right away, because there's lots of supports in my wheelchair that I don't have on this type of a chair. And so my balance is gonna be off a little bit and my legs aren't gonna stay on that footrest unless you hold them there. Yep, so, so she'll okay. hold your legs. Right, hold yep. your arms. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yep. All right, one, two, three. Yep, and then you just kinda have to hold on and get yep. my, you can so put my feet. Pick your feet up? Yep. It's gonna stay under your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Is that nice and comfortable, mm -hmm. secure? Yep. And that's another thing a lot of times I'll tell the someone who's carrying my chair down uh, where my brakes are and how to get them on and off because they're sometimes they're hard. <laughs> Grab it. <Okay. laughs> yep. So that'll go just in the overhead. Mm-hmm. Okay. you take everything off as far as anything that's loose so if you have side guards loose or your chair your cushion or a phone underneath or a bag because if you don't take it off now you probably won't get it when you come when the chair comes back up so that's a good thing to remember now as far as this is going to be the quick way so if you guys want to just bring that right up onto the plane okay. and then I'll follow you Yeah, we keep keep going right up. They can turn the corner a little bit. And go back a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Um, always make sure to tell the passenger who's gonna sit on the inside that it's okay to climb over you. 
<laughs> Especially at the end when all the lights go on and everyone has to get out and get their luggage and say, okay, sorry, you're gonna have to <laughs> climb over me to get out, but it's yeah. okay. Ben. <laughs> all right. Um, what, one thing I try to do, because because I have rods in my back, I always bring a little cushion for my back and that, that helps a lot, otherwise mm -hmm. it gets sore back. A lot of people like to sit on their wheelchair cushion because this seat is not good or conducive um, for sitting for long periods of time, um, if, especially if you're going to be on a plane for a while with pressure sores. So a lot of times you would actually put your cushion from your wheelchair on the plane seat before you transfer into it. Got it. Mm -hmm. and, and if you have a bag? You can put the bag underneath the seat in front of you too so you can grab whatever stuff that you might need out of there. What kind of planning goes into travel before you even get into the airport? I think that that is one of the biggest things when traveling is to be planning ahead of time. What I do often is I make a list of all of my medical supplies that I need to pack and bring for the amount of time that I'm going to be gone. So that's the first step, packing the medical supplies, knowing, okay, I catheterize six, five or six times a day, so I need to pack that many of catheters. I need to make sure I have what I need for um, at night, splints on my feet, everything like that. So I make a list, and then I make a list of the everyday packing that everybody does, the clothes, the toiletries and stuff like that. So I just make a list, make sure I have enough of each. And then the next part of it, once you realize that you've, you've gotten everything written down that you need to take with you, making sure that the items that are really important could go on a carry-on, just in case your luggage that you check gets lost. So I take a look at, I carry a black bag on my wheelchair all the time and I usually take that as a carry-on and make sure that has at least enough catheters for a day or two um, and then I pack all of my medications in a Ziploc bag in the bag that I carry on as well. So those are the most important. If everything else gets lost then at least I have a way to still cath and take my medication. What if I want to transfer differently than they suggest? So as far as transferring, they they just have like a general, the, the people that help transfer you, they, they really should ask you on the best way to transfer you, but sometimes they just think they know a better way, but everybody's different, everybody has their different disabilities and what they can do. So usually what I do is I just tell them right away what I can do and what I can't. So when I get there, I'll, I'll say, well, I just need you to, just to bring me to the seat and then I'll transfer in myself. Or if you can't do that, then they can pick you up. Um, usually there's two of them and they can just pick you up and put you into the seat. Um, and it, maybe it might depend on how much you weigh too, it's, or what you're comfortable with. And um, it's mostly just telling them what you need is just be vocal about what you do need. What happens if your chair is broken or mistreated? And that's a common thing, unfortunately, that can occur. I think it's kind of lack of education for the airport staff sometimes and knowing um, how individualized wheelchairs can be, how fitted they can be. Um, and they're used to taking luggage that is going to be thrown under the chair or under the um, airplane. And so your wheelchair goes in with that too. So it can easily get bumped or turned. So First thing, always remember that educate whoever is going to carry your chair. Second thing is when you get back in your chair, you always want to make sure that you take a good look at it before you leave the airport. Kind of inspect it, make sure that your seat feels good and that the backrest, that the supports you have haven't been um, moved around at all. So, and if they have, then you want to immediately go in the airport to customer service for whatever airline that is. And then you want to make a claim right away there so that you fill out a form. Um, if it's after hours and somebody isn't there, they'll still have a form for you to fill out. You can then um, contact the airline's management and say, I made a claim. This is something that happened to my wheelchair. I need to get this repaired. 
and then go from there. It's kind of a process, but making sure that you get what you need to communicate um, across right away is important. Do I need to take a transfer board if that's what I'm using here? So as far as a transfer board, they I don't, I've never seen them have a transfer board, so it's just the people that do that. So if you need a transfer board, you will need to bring it with you and you can store it above you in the, uh, in the luggage carrier part. Um, and if, if you do need a transfer board, it's probably good to have anyway, so when you do get to your destination, you have somewhere to transfer onto the bed or to wherever you're going, so you do need to bring one if you need it. Do you have trouble with air pressure in your seat cushion as the plane gains elevation? I have not had that problem, but I have heard that some people have had that problem. So, of course, when you get, when you're getting boarded onto a plane, you want to make sure that you're sitting, you take the cushion from your wheelchair and put it in the airplane seat so that no matter how long of a ride it is, how long you have to wait, you're not gonna have pressure issues, whether you have a rojo, a ride design, um, it's better and it's good for your skin. So um, I would say, you know, just keep an eye on it. Make sure that you can feel it as long as you can feel um, that there's still air in it, it's not losing air, that your bottom isn't resting completely on the seat where there could be pressure. Um, so I think, it's pretty much just monitoring your cushion specifically for how you have it set up throughout the, the plane ride. How do you haul your luggage and roll your wheelchair at the same time? So as bringing your luggage, uh, I've seen people do it lots of different ways. Uh, one thing is if you can just put it on your lap, that's probably the easiest way is just putting it right on your lap. But the, a lot of times it's hard, especially in the Grand Rapids airport, it's hard to go up that big hill with a big piece of luggage on your lap. So a couple things you can do is you can, you can buy luggage carriers that go onto the frame of your chair. So they, they sit right down on the frame and then when you need to use them, you can lay them down so it's kind of like a little forklift. So it just sits like that on the front of your chair and you can just you can put a big suitcase on there and carry it around that way. And that, that works really good. Um, Another way I've seen people do quite a bit is they will tie it onto the back of their chair. So it'll have the wheels on, so you'll have the, the suitcase behind you, and it's just kind of like a little trailer because everywhere you go, the luggage just follows you, and that's, that's probably another real easy way. Um, but those are probably like the three main ways I've seen people do it. What are your thoughts on direct flights versus layovers? Well, the big thing here, is direct flights are always better, <laughs> whether you're in a wheelchair or not. But it's extremely important that even if you have a layover, that you are pretty organized between flights. You're always going to be loaded on an airplane first, but you're gonna be taken off last. So you have to account for that time. Um, and if they don't, if they're not prepared, with an aisle chair there right away if they have to go get it. That is something you always have to be prepared for. So direct flights are always better. They're gonna track your wheelchair underneath the plane. They're gonna put your luggage and then they're gonna bring it back up at your destination. They're gonna do the same thing with a layover, but they will be trans transferring your luggage just like anyone. There's more chance of luggage to get lost if there is a layover somewhere. Then you always wanna make sure and check your timing of your layovers and account for the time that it's gonna take you to get across the airport to another plane. And then the last thing you need to think about too with a layover is carrying the things that you have that you haven't checked from one plane to the next plane. Um, something I do if I do have a layover, which is really beneficial, is that at the gate, before I board the plane, I always tell them, I have a layover, just wanted to let you know that I'll be catching another flight in the next airport. So I want to make sure that they're prepared at the next airport with an aisle chair so that I can get off right away to make it to my next destination. And then I also ask, the flight attendant, when I'm on the plane, as we're leaving, 
one destination to get to the other, I'll say, I have a layover, I'm gonna get another plane at this time, whether it's a tight connection or not. Um, so I will, you know, just mentioning, I will need a aisle wheelchair when we arrive there and then need to get to another gate. A lot of times, the stewardesses are really helpful as far as knowing which gate to go to or how far it is navigating the airport. So any questions that you might have about the airport that you're going to is use all your resources, make sure that everybody has been communicated to so that you know you've done your best to try, you know, things happen, that's, that's what happens when you travel. Um, but being prepared, communicating as you go through the airport and the process is going to be the best bet for making you have a successful flight and trip to your final destination.